Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and I wanted to do a little update on the uh, solar activity situation where we are at in the solar cycle. Some of you have been asking me to uh, kind of uh, do a little update and talk about where in the cycle we are. Well, we're still of course at solar minimum. We are at the deepest solar minimum in 100 years. I mean this one in 2008 we had the deepest solar minimum. Well, the 2019 solar minimum is even deeper than the 2008 one. But there is light at the end of the minimum. And that showed up in the past few days. So there was a sunspot 2751 that appeared. That one is the old cycle. But there was also a sunspot 2750 that appeared uh, late last week. That one is the new cycle. It's uh, got a reverse polarity. So that mix of old and new spots, uh, old and new cycle spots, is showing us that slowly uh, solar cycle 25 is slowly getting there, uh, slowly starting. It's always a very slow process at first, mixing of old and new sunspots. But that kind of gives us a hint that, you know, we're going to slowly start seeing things improve. Maybe in 2020 already, you know, maybe by mid to late 2020, we're going to start having a little more sunspots and uh, slowly get an uptick in uh, solar activity. Uh, of course, that means right now with solar activity so low, like the solar flux is 69, lower frequencies are favored, and especially if you're in the winter months uh, that are coming uh, in the next few months you will notice that especially nighttime frequencies, the maximum usable frequency will be quite low. But there's a lot of DX to be had, and you know I hear this all the time when I see people say, well, you know, I'm going to turn off the radio and come back in 2022 or 2023 when things get better. They're actually quite good. Uh, the amount of signals and the amount of uh, things that I hear are quite interesting, and I always say it. Some of my best DX I've ever had were at solar minimum. So we got to be careful with all of this impression. And one of the biggest problems, because, you know, over solar cycles, up and down solar cycles, I've never heard as many people say, well, you know, solar minimum and it's bad and I don't hear anything. And the problem is, is that is actually inducing a negative side to the hobby. So, oh, there's nothing to listen to. So some hams or some listeners decided they don't listen to anything anymore. So there's even less people on the bands. And then they say, well, it's solar minimum. No, it's not solar minimum. It's just a bunch of guys are not turning on the radio. And that is far more a problem than solar minimum. Solar minimum has been with us for uh, ever. And I mean, every 11 years we had one. The hobby was super active and we had a solar minimum. And, you know, in the 80s and the 90s and the 70s and the 60s. And I mean, uh, it's part of our hobby. And one of the, I think one of the biggest reasons why people kind of um, don't really interpret the solar minimum correctly is the fact that they mix the fact of less signals on the bands with uh, solar minimum, when in reality, is, no, there's just less signals on the bands. And higher noise is also kind of creating that, you know, oh, um, well, there's nothing there, I guess it's solar minimum. No, there's a lot of stuff there. Maybe you have too much noise. That's the other thing you got to think about. Uh, you know, when I did the walk in the park last week, well, there was a lot of stuff to listen to, honestly. And propagation was quite good. It's really, really uh, something that is, uh, you know, you, you can't, don't base your listening on the fact that it's solar minimum or not. Uh, you'll, you know, turn on the radio and you'll hear stuff. So, uh, you know, we're slowly getting there, and of course, uh, we'll stay in solar minimum throughout the winter, probably. So uh, we got to do the best that we can with that, and turn on the radio and listen. You'll be surprised. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.